Hi everyone, welcome to Cobalt Crochet Tutorials. Today we're going to learn how to do the double crochet stitch. Let's get started. It's going to be helpful if you already know how to make a slip knot and how to make the chain stitch. So first, make your slip knot. And if you don't know how to make the slip knot or chain stitch, just head on over to my channel. I have a tutorial for both of those. Once you made your slip knot, slide it onto your hook and tighten it. I'm not too tight, but tighten it so it's not all floppy. And you're going to chain your desired length. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be chaining five. Four and five. And then, after you chain your desired length, you're going to chain two. The chain two is called the turning chain, and it's going to be the height of all my rows. So after every row, I'm going to make a turning chain. So the actual width of my project is going to be these five chains right here, and then the height is going to be these two. So for double crochet, your turning chain is two chains. So first, you're going to yarn over, to start your double crochet stitch and find the third chain from the hook. So this is my first one, this is my second one, and this is my third one. I like to go right under the top two strands of my chain. As you can kind of see, this is the bottom strand, this is the middle strand that's coming out from the center, and this is the top strand. So I like to go right above the bottom and under the middle and the top. So just insert your hook in there. And now you're going to yarn over again, catch it in the neck of your hook, tilt down slightly, and pull through that chain and lift up. Now you're going to yarn over again, tilt down slightly, catch it in the neck of that hook, and pull through the first two loops out of three on the hook. To finish your double crochet stitch, yarn over again, catch it in the neck of your hook, and pull through the last two stitches. Now I've made one double crochet stitch. Let's do another one. Yarn over to start, find the next chain. I just worked into this chain. You can kind of see this double crochet stitch grabbing onto that chain. So now you know not to go into that one. You're going to go into this next one right here. So I like to go right above the bottom. And you're going to yarn over and pull through that chain and lift up. Now you're going to yarn over, catch it in the neck, tilt it down just a little bit, not all the way down, but just a little bit down, and pull through the first two loops and lift up. Now you're going to yarn over again and to finish, pull through the last two loops on that hook. One more. Yarn over to start, find your next chain, which is right here. Go through, pull through that chain, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Let me finish out this row and then we'll look at how to start a new row and which stitches to go into for your second row and beyond. So now I've finished my row of double crochets. I have one, two, three, four, and five. So I'm going to make my turning chain. Like I said, we do our turning chain at the end of every row. So for double crochets, your turning chain is two. Your turning chain amount varies depending on what stitch you're doing, but for double crochet, we're gonna chain two. Then after you make your turning chain, you turn your work. So um, I was going this way, and then I chain two, and now I just flip it over. So to start, yarn over, find that first stitch to go into. It's going to be all these V's on top, it's going to be this first V right here is the first stitch you're going to go into, which is the top of the last stitch we made on the previous row. So the first stitch you go into is going to be the last stitch you made on the previous row. So I yarned over. I'm not going into these turning chains because they look like V's also, but I'm going into the top of this last stitch we made on that previous row. So I'll come a little closer so you can see where we're going under exactly. So I've yarned over already, and I'm just going to go right under that V on top. Now I'm going to yarn over, pull it through and under that V, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through those last two. 
So now I've started my second row with that first stitch. Now I'm going to yarn over, find my next stitch. This V right here, I've already worked into the top of this V, so go right into this one, right here. And go just straight under that V. Yarn over, pull through that stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video or subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.